the F2H2 Banshee is the first aim panel you'll get in the naval line of the United States. However, I advise you to skip it. I will address why, because this thing is is a struggle. Uh, it's slow. It's not very maneuverable. The only reason I give it some maneuverability is because it has very stable flight characteristics as well as a very good roll. But that's about all you'll get. The pull of it is very weak, the flaps aren't very good and the sustained turn is absolutely atrocious. However, the retention is pretty decent but going faster and turning worse than an enemy is about the worst thing that can happen to you. The firepower however is very good. You have four AM trees with 150 rounds per gun. They hit very hard, they're easy to use, however when they're stuck they're pretty doo-doo, they're very inaccurate. The climb rate is pretty good. It's nothing special but at the same time it's nothing to laugh at. For an APO the acceleration is pretty decent and then that's all there is to it. However, as per usual, your plane will be stuck. I recommend going for the compressor first, then the booster, then the engine, then the wing repair, because you have to get a boat unfortunately, then I recommend going for the guns, then get the cover, after that go for the airframe or the fuselage repair, it doesn't really matter, and neither does the G-suit, because you don't actually turn well enough. The bombs are again optional, but if you're going to use this, you're probably best off using it in ground RB, and I highly advise getting the 4 times 250s. But we're not here for tank RB, we're here for air RB, which is why I'm completely disregarding ground RB. For the overall grade of this plane, I would give it about a 4, maybe a 3. The only saving grades are the guns and the decent acceleration. Well, that's literally all there is to this plane. And for the Talisman, don't do it. Even if you're going to fly this thing a lot, just don't, it's not worth it. But with all of that out of the way, let's start with the gameplay. I'm starting off with the most ideal match I got, uh, mainly support fighter. I um, have some altitude, the TO14 doesn't bother me. A Yak 23 and a MiG 17 down low. MiG 17 just engaged the F2 Sabre, which ripped, and now is vulnerable for attack from above. He probably doesn't see me, so I want to get him out of the game as quickly as I can. I successfully kill him. The Yak-23 is not catching me, so I will extend away so he won't catch me. I don't want to go vertical right now, because he will get more energy back than I will in the vertical, because of the Yak-23's engine, which is borderline stupid. More disengaging. I'm waiting for the F-80 and the Meteor to jump them, and as soon as they start losing energy, I turn around. Now I also see the MiG-15 on the left, but I have a feeling that he's way too quick for me. And he's going after the Meteor, so I won't be catching him anytime soon. I want to go for Yak-23, because I have the most trouble killing that thing. Right now he's occupied, so I want to make him priority. Always try to kill whatever you will have the most trouble with killing when you're on your own. I can kill a MiG-15. Sure, it will be tough. Sure, it will be hard, but I have less trouble killing a MiG-15 than a Yak-23 in this thing. Because I don't outdo the Yak-23 in anything. I don't outdo the MiG-15 in anything, but the discrepancy is a lot smaller than forcing a Yak-23. He will outturn me, he will out-energy me, he will outroll me almost, and he will, he will outdo me in every regard. MiG-15, I at least can outroll, if you see what I'm getting at. It's still a tough fight. But it's not as hopeless as it is. For as I say, you're finding a min fuel 163 in anything, and he won't run out of fuel. There is nothing you can do against a plane if you're not if you're not faster than it. So I recommend you to go for those first. Right now, the F2A tries to go for the MiG-15. MiG-15 tries to run away, so he's probably really focused on the F2A just shooting him. I think this is a good opportunity to go for him, and I doubt that the F2A will kill him anyway. So. Teamwork is key. Then I see it's an ish, and then I realize that he probably would have actually killed him. I'm letting the F2H on him because he's a lot closer than I thought he was, and I'm going for the LA 15 so that the F2H behind me won't have a problem with him as he deals with the AK 15 bis ish. The hit 
nothing special. Miss, because this thing doesn't pull. I'm also not really used to the guns yet, because this is one of the earlier games I did. Um, dog fighting with LA-15. I don't actually advise this, because it's uh, it's tricky. He outturns me, he outenergies me, as with almost every plane, but he goes up. So I just spray a wall in case he tries to full commit head on, which he didn't, and then I could just snap into him. Nothing special, but it's something to keep in mind. Not every round you shoot is there to kill someone. You can also shoot so he doesn't want to go for you, or to, to kind of deny them to go for that area, which is what I did right there. The guns are stock, they are not accurate, so I wanted to make sure that he didn't try to push ahead on, because it would be very possible that I would have missed him, and that he would have one-shot me since I was so slow. TU-14, not a big problem. These guns, even when stock, they hit very hard. The only problem is the accuracy and the overheat time, which are certainly not a very good combination. I'll show you more of the overheat time in a little bit, but I'm going to engage this LA-200 first. LA-200 is being chased by two people, so what I do is cut him off. I'm trying to get in front of him, whilst also getting a little bit of altitude, because I won't be going much faster anyway. Got him off. I probably could have gone more to the left, but I wasn't really sure what he was trying to do. So I couldn't say I couldn't anticipate that in time. All worked out in the end. I'm cutting him off. If he turned to the right here I wouldn't have cut caught him. But he didn't. So I did. He tried to turn into me to, to dodge me. My shells could just go through him and get a spark, unfortunately, but now my team can just sandwich him. Now I will go to the, the TU-4 and show you how quickly these guns jam. This is with a very good crew as well, level 75, not an ace crew, just expert. So technically it's plus 8 on the weapon maintenance. And still, I have 166 rounds. I start to shoot and I jam at 109. All four are jammed, that's not even 70 rounds. It's kind of pathetic, but it is what it is. At least he burned up and he died from it, otherwise they had to RTB. I wasn't anticipating these guns to jam this quickly, that's why they, uh, they jam so easily on me. I should be um, more aware of that. Game after versus Apeno Germany. Most of your games versus Germany will look like this, and it's very painful. I try to push ahead on, I miss. He almost hits me because I dodge into it, luckily he didn't. Get a 163 on me. And this thing is very heavy, so you would say, if I dive away from the 163, I will out-accelerate it. Well, you thought wrong. You actually can't outrun these. And if you don't outrun the 163, I think by now, if you're at 8.0, 7.0, you know very well that if you're not outrunning the 163, that you're dead meat. So. I can try to make him run out of ammo, and that's exactly what I'm trying to do. But in the background, uh, my team isn't having a lot of fun with his team. And uh, yeah, it's just very painful. I'm just putting this in here because you can't really do a lot versus Germany if they are teamed up, if your team is shit. Which most of the times, German 8.0s will wipe your team. And I can try to dodge this dude all day, but he will close the gap if he just wants to. I have to keep evasive. I can fly straight, and even when I fly straight I won't outrun him. And I'm bleeding even more speed dodging him, so there's zero chance in the world that I'm outrunning this dude. Which is kinda sad. The only thing I can do is keep dodging him. When he gets close enough, I can do a full banking turn. And he will lose more speed than me. Like right here. He will lose more speed than me. And we will fly straight away. I'm not running him for a little bit. But then his acceleration kicks in and he catches me again. So there is very little you can do versus these planes. You have to have the altitude advantage. You have to be going faster than them. And that's all you can do. You have to hope that your team is not potato. So that you can swipe in and kill people that aren't looking. In this game I didn't kill anyone. What I do want to show you is how durable this plane is, because it's kind of ridiculous. I'm just trying to push ahead on because I'm dead anyway. I missed it. 
more and more and more people on my six. It's, uh, yeah, this is my team right now. There isn't uh, much left. It's an up tier too, so you get also these CLs that outrun, out turn, out energy, outgun, pretty much, because they can spray so much. I wouldn't say outgun, but you get what I'm saying. And I just get the whole team on me. And I, I can barely dodge one of these, let alone 12. Trying to run, trying to make sure that people run into each other, or that they make a mistake. They don't, unfortunately. They were actually paying attention. And I just, I'm only going 500 after next G, and it's just too much. I can't do anything here. But this is unfortunately how a lot of games look like when you first Germany, even in the down tier. And the game after, MiG-15 has been on me for a good 40 seconds, really wants to get me killed. So I try to reverse him. Which I can do once, because I'm a lot slower than him. I break a little bit because he will not overshoot otherwise pull him back in because I don't need him anymore and this is the only angle I will get and I barely missed it so that's very unfortunate he's behind me and he's slower I go up he rides his air brake and what do you get? I make 15 that's still above you fortunately for me the whole team was here Oh, Hunter, I don't know what he was trying to do, he just flew away. But my team just melted him. Uh, I can't really do a lot. Only thing I can do is dodge him till the t team cleans him up. If I don't hit that one shot I get, it's, it's pretty much over. Game versus the Brits. Nothing special, it's, it's more about a statement that I'm gonna put this in. First thing is that I almost rip at 950, which is very pathetic. Try to shoot the Canberra that he flies into it, I miss. Re-engage the Canberra because he's going for the F-84. And people ask me, if you kill someone, why do you look always at your 6 when there's a teammate there? And this is exactly why. I see him going for me, he starts to pull with me, I start dodging very furiously and he really wants to stick. And I'm not having any of that, so we just go up. I shouldn't have air brake there, I was going for the reverse, but I, I noticed that he was losing a lot more speed than me, so I just went up. However, because I air brake so much, going vertical, this guy ended up having more energy than me, which is a problem. However, I do out accelerate him, I'm out turning is pretty much not possible, it's close, at really really low speeds I will out turn him. But it's an F-84G, it's not much of a accomplishment. He did a turn less than me, so he lost even less speed than I did. And he tries to fly away. And these guns, you better not fly straight. You don't want to fly straight away from these. My aim was a bit potato, third burst, everything hits. If you're going to team kill me, at least make sure that I don't see it. Not a good example, I got a MiG-15 on me again. This one actually doesn't have min fuel like the previous one, so I can kind of dogfight him. Lost control because my uh, my camera key got stuck. Lost the MiG-15 for a little bit, re-engaging. I outroll him, which is pretty much the only thing I outdo him in, so I want to keep these scissors going. However, they're not tight enough to really abuse it, but I'm going so much slower that the MiG-15 will overshoot eventually. I thought I could easily get him here, because he's going up. I was wrong, because I shot once and then realized that this plane doesn't turn at all. Fortunately for me, he turned back into my gut. I could have just gone up, flown, flown away, doesn't matter. But now I'm going 500 and there's an F2 coming in. Uh, yeah, this is how uh, you, you just pretend you didn't see it. There isn't much you can do. And the last one for today. A lot of shit down low so I can try to boom and zoom him. This is my first match that I did with uh, on that day, so my aim is a bit potato, so just bear with me. Could have easily killed him here, but no. It doesn't turn. He doesn't turn either, but you saw how much of a brick it is. I'm trying to engage the MiG-15. F2H re-engages me. 
which is a problem. However, I'm a god going a lot faster, so I can easily run away. Looking for a disengagement, which is going successfully for now. Separation is high enough, so I re engage. I'm hoping for him that he pulls back into me, goes head on, doesn't see me, has to do it on him, so I don't have very much of a kind of pressure to go for him, trying to dodge the F40 in the head on. Didn't lead enough, unfortunately. By the time I do get enough lead, he starts doing some wonky shit. I'm not sure how that missed. But hey, it is what it is. After age, back on me. Go up, trying to stall him out. Which would have been successful. Because I can go straight up here. But I notice that the F30 is trying to come back here. And at this state, I'm pretty much dead. So what I do instead is I try to just commit to the head on. He waited too long to shoot. He could have easily killed me. I get a spark. He hits me a bit. All good, I guess. This plane is very, very resilient to guns. As long as you don't get hit in the tail. Like the actual tail, not the, the tail part that just got hit. But I mean the, the empennage. That thing will fall off very easily. But next to that, almost nothing comes off. This thing is very durable, it has two engines, so if one gets shot out you can still go back to base, which is always very nice. After he ripped, luckily, get another hit, didn't hit my tail so I survived yet again. I go straight up, try to pull into him, use my flaps. He's going faster than me, which is a good and a bad thing. It's a good thing if he goes down, it's a bad thing if he tries to go up. If he had gone straight up there, I couldn't have killed him. But he goes back right in my guns and I blow his wing off. I hope this uh, little video showcased enough of how much of a pain it is. I know these aren't the best clips, I know that these aren't the best gameplays. But I didn't get much better stuff than this. I'm very sorry that this plane is just... I'm never crewing this thing again. It's, uh, it's a pain to fly, it's a chore. I, uh, I don't recommend it. I do hope that you enjoyed it nonetheless, more than I did at least. And I'll uh, see you in the next one.